Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are across the globe. Welcome to Esther's inspirational message. Yes, I've dyed my hair green. Not sure what I think about it, but we'll see. You never know for the new year. I might go grey or something else. Anyway, the message for today is this. What's really going on and how can we manage and maintain a semblance of mental and emotional well-being as we go through these trying times. Now, I remember a couple of months ago, I was talking to an elder and she said she had gone to church and they weren't allowed to sing. They had social distance and they had the masks and the muzzles and the visors, but they weren't allowed to sing. And it just got me thinking about faith it got me thinking about how on every level around what's really happening with this virus, which we now know is airborne, but around that, all the things that are being implemented to silence people. And this is just my take, because today I had another call from an elder. I've been supporting a lot of people in the community around their mental health and well-being. And an elder called me. She said she went to church yesterday and obviously abided by the social distancing rules and regulations. Like I said, the visor, the mask, the muzzles, and they, yeah, social distancing in place. But she said they weren't allowed to sing nor talk. And I don't get that. I, I don't get that because at least as a last resort, that's what people need, especially our elders. They need a place to express themselves. Can you imagine them sitting indoors and listening to the television and listening to the radio? Because every station is talking about this whole pandemic, pandemic, whatever. And I keep saying to people, find other things to listen to. Turn off the TV sometimes, turn off the radio or listen to Classic FM. Go someplace else that can feed your soul, that can nurture you. Even if you listen to, was it Rock FM, whatever it is. Because we need to bring some balance into our lives. To go to church and not be able to even sing or talk to each other and you're all muzzled up and masked up and you're social distancing. Come on now. Come on now. So all I'm going to say to those of you, especially the elders, the elders are going to need so much support. I mean, we all need a lot of support. There's been so many people who have approached me who are suffering from depression, who are suicidal. And that's why next week I will be starting my radio show on Sunday, the 27th of December between 8 and 10. And I'm going to be interviewing old school artists, playing lots of great music. But also I'm going to be starting a 20 to 30 minute twice a month um, TV style show on the sofa with Esther where we're going to bring you yes we're going to talk about um, some of the truths and the realities of what's going on because we you still got to be real about what's happening but also I'm going to bring be bringing you a pot puree of inspiration talking to people who are going through this and also a lot of youngsters who have a voice who want to share their voices who want to inspire who want to help support us maintain that mental health and well-being balance so look out for more information soon but all i want to leave with you is this you can think about being cooped up indoors all the time please try not to listen to the tv all the time try not to listen to the radio and if you do find an alternative netflix go onto youtube you can choose what you want to listen to on there because trust me, when you're sitting indoors and you're constantly listening to what's been on the news and even in the, um, the discussion forums on the radio, it's the same thing. We have to take responsibility to try to nurture and bring balance into our minds. Music, dance, dance like there's no tomorrow. Whatever you can do to help support your mental health and well-being, I would urge you to. And this is Esther on Esther's Esperational Message.